Welcome back to The Guru. Today I'm going to show you how to print shipping labels using Google Sheets, which can save you a ton of time for a usually very tedious task. So the first thing you'll want to do is create a spreadsheet that has all the addresses that you'd like to make into printable shipping labels. So it doesn't really matter how you split up the columns because you'll be able to decide which columns are used for which part of the label. So I happen to do it name, street name, town, state, and then zip code, but if you you could have this in any order you want and you could have street name and town in one column. It doesn't matter and I'll show you why in a little bit. So once you have a spreadsheet like this, the next thing you'll do is you'll actually open a Google Doc because this is technically a Docs add-on because it creates the labels in Google Docs pulling from the spreadsheet. So you'll click into add-ons click get add-ons and it's right here actually Avery label merge and we'll click this little plus icon to add it we will accept the permissions and then what we'll do is we'll go up to add-ons, we'll go to Avery label merge we'll click new merge We'll click Address Labels. And 30 labels per sheet should be fine because I think we only have about 11 or 12 addresses in that spreadsheet that I made. So click Select. And then we will choose our spreadsheet. It's called Guru Shipping Addresses. And then I'll pull up this right side tab where you can actually decide the order so it pulls in all the headers from the spreadsheet so name street name town state and zip whatever you put as the headers will populate into here so as you can see if we go back those are the headers I created over here so first we'll want to go name and as you can see it builds sort of a sample label for you here and then under the name we'll want to put in street name and then below that we'll do town state and zip we'll probably want to actually put a comma between town and state and then you just make sure it's pulling from the right rows so we'll be pulling from rows 2 through 12 so let's take a look here at our spreadsheet again it looks like 2 through 12 is correct. And then we click Merge. And it creates a new document for us that will contain all the printable shipping labels. We'll open that up. And voila! We can just print these out, cut them up, and put them on the packages that we are going to ship. A lot easier than doing these one by one by hand, just populating a spreadsheet since oftentimes you have addresses and info in spreadsheet format anyways. You can also use this for making printable name tags and other things like that. It doesn't necessarily need to be shipping, but that's just the example I used. So I hope you found this tip to be helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you and have a great day.